right, guys, guys, Troy ATXRC Productions here. Uh, we have our Esheen 250 ARF racer. Uh, it runs a cloned version of the CC3D board and Open Pilot. Everybody, well, most people out there uh, should know Open Pilot has split and no longer supports the multi rotor um, flight controller firmware updates. And any there's not going to be any more movement as far as progressing that firmware. Um, so with beta flight and clean flight and all these other things getting better and better and better with the day, how do you continue to use your open pilot or CC3D um, with the intended firmware? What you're going to want is you're going to want to move over to Libre Pilot, L-I-R-B-R-E pilot.org. What you're going to see on the screen now is we're going to go over to LibrePilot.org. You're going to go to software downloads and you're going to download whatever one you need, the, the DMG or the Win version. Once you do that and install it, you're going to get your eSheen just as usual. You're going to then go into and open LibrePilot and get ready to connect it with your USB cable. You'll notice it looks pretty much exactly like OP. That's because, again, the same contributors split off. Obviously, they, you know, utilizing the same technical GCS and all this uh, to make their job a little easier. Not only that, um, just know that, again, the firmware coming off of LibrePilot is going to progress and get better and better and better. You can still run OpenPilot GCS. It's not going to hurt anything as long as you're using 15.06, I believe, is the latest uh, multi-rotor. You can use it on all your CC3D boards and still fly just fine you're just not going to see any new improvements or upgrades through that system. You're going to want to move to LibrePilot. It's easy. This is why. Check it out. Open it up. We're going to connect our eSheen just as usual. And we are currently running 15.09, I believe, or 15.06 OpenPilot. So when we connect it, it should automatically connect within 5 to 10 seconds. There it goes. USB copter control. GCS and firmware don't match, we understand. So we will go to firmware tab. 15.02, I'm sorry, that's the one that you want to run. 15.02 is your open pilot um, last revision. So we are going to actually do this manually using the upgrade and erase on the firmware tab. This means that we will need to actually go back and reset all of our settings, which is fine. The other way of doing so is obviously to go through your vehicle setup wizard so you can do it this way erase all settings upgrade same thing then go through all your setup i will actually be doing this after we do the video just because i wanted to show how you theoretically can just upgrade the firmware and this will not erase any of your pids i believe if you do just upgrade it will erase your motor setups and um your s bus or ppm whatever you're running it, I believe some of your settings will be lost. Um, that's why I do recommend going through the wizard. So you can, though, however, do all of that right here and set up yourself. For those running the eSheen, being it's an ARF, we're going to do this with the vehicle setup wizard. Please, please, please take your props off. You don't see me, but I did take the props off after showing you the copter. <laughs> um, I am not actually going to run through the whole thing either right now. So here we go. Remove all props. Yes, we will upgrade any race. All right, board updated. Please press next. There we go. Automatic board detect. We're actually going to go ahead and cancel out of this and just go double check that we see everything. Here we go. Everything's here. Libre Pilot. All that. Good to go. And yeah. So there's how you upgrade to Libre Pilot. I highly recommend anybody running CC3Ds and Open Pilot go ahead and just make this switch now. Um, those that have flown it, and I've actually switched two of my other copters, my FPVs over, um, I've flown them just line of sight so far. They feel better, I can tell you that. And I've had people flying it tell me that it is 
very similar or feels as good as the change in the Boris B beta flight that people are running with the Lux float. Um, not better than that, I'm saying the jump that the Boris B and the, the Lux float and beta flight stuff recently did, that this is very similar in feel. I'm not comparing the two and saying they're exact and this is just as good, but I'm just saying it is supposedly an, up, an upgrade in um, control and feel of the copters. So we will go try and fly these things today. Uh, Ishin is now running Libre and we're going to go head out and do it. Hope you guys got a little bit of good info out of here and learned how to do this. Um, Y'all have a great afternoon. Go fly safe, fly smart. Just fly. Fly for fun. All right. Peace.